Lethargic Sloth here, and I'm going to do another random video. I like doing these for fun. I think it's got diversity, you know, in the songs I'm covering. It gives me life in between songs a little bit to kind of look back at some of the other songs that I've loved in the past. In 2016, there were the three S's. You had Sergey, Sir Hot, and Samra. Yeah, and I've done Sir Hot and Sergey songs, but I haven't done Samra. And I was just having a conversation with somebody who suggested that I might have a crush on both Serbuk and Nevena. Well, I won't say that that's true. I will say I had a massive crush on Samra from Azerbaijan in 2016. That was no secret. I absolutely had a crush on her. And uh, I want to see how she sounded last year at the Moscow party 2018. She sings Miracle and I haven't watched that. So we're going to take a look at that right now. And I'm going to gawk at, I mean, not gawk, uh, listen to Samra and uh, see Miracle. Somebody's going to kill me. <laughs> This is from the Moscow pre-party last year. You got in my head, boy, like a song That I kept on singing all along But the radio stopped to play us long ago, long ago Guess I've had enough, boy, guess sometimes See, she was okay at the verses always. It was the choruses that were a little off. <laughs> this is a total inside joke, and I'm probably going to get killed for this. <laughs> she sounds a lot better. Of course, this was a year ago, but still. Very good. A lot better than 2016. <laughs> this was my number three song, by the way. In 2016, yeah. I love this song. I listen to this all the time. It sounds a lot better. Very good. Basiba. She did fantastic. I thought she was awesome there. She definitely improved. Uh, I can't believe I didn't watch this last year. I completely missed out. I didn't really look at the pre-parties last year. I watched some of the acts here and there, but I didn't really look at them like I did this year. So it was uh, nice to... Uh, go back and kind of check some of these out. I'm going to go back and I will do um, reaction videos to the uh, pre-party, like other songs and stuff that I didn't look at too, uh, probably later on. I'm trying to hit right now the artists that are uh, coming out with new versions of their songs and uh, 
acoustic versions and such like that, or live concerts like Duncan's. I'm trying to cover some of those, but it's nice to look back at these and hear some of these like Ira Lasco performing in Madrid. I just really love hearing the other artists coming back and performing their songs again. And she sounds so much better now than she did in uh, 2016. I just remember it was uh, rough in the choruses, but again, that was my number three song. I listened to it all the time, uh, not because of the crush, just because I enjoyed listening to the song and uh, I had it on repeat, repeat, repeat. So it was uh, right up there with my other two that were there. I had, I'm trying to think back to 2016, I had, uh, yeah, I had, um, Freddy was my number one from Hungary. My number two was Norway with Icebreaker. It was a song that I liked and pretty much nobody else did. <laughs> um, there's an acoustic, there's a, a different version of that I want to react to too. Um, Agnet came out with a different version of that song I really enjoyed. And then I had Azerbaijan at number three. So that was my top three from 2016. Very, very good uh, songs, in my opinion. Uh, my number two songs never qualify. Although I think my number two song this year will qualify. So uh, usually my one and my three are okay. But number two is kind of cursed. But my uh, number two song sh should be safe this year. <laughs> so for now... I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you won't see any future videos from me because I might die because of this, but I enjoyed making this inside joke video here about my Samurai crush. I needed to do that. So, Okay, for now, Lethargic Sloth, out. <laughs>